I don't want to brag, but I'm doing pretty well financially. So when I found a desk on Craigslist for 30 bucks, I thought to myself, no big deal. I called the guy up. He said to me, does 11 o'clock work for you? Perf, I said. That's short for perfect. I got to his place and he immediately greeted me at the door. He had a huge smile, almost like a cartoon character. He walked me into the living room where he had the desk all set up. He showed it to me, told me about it, where he got it, how nice it was. And to be honest, it was in pretty good shape. I gave it a quick look over, checked underneath, over, bottom, did my due diligence and I said, I'll take it. I gave him the 30 bucks and we shook hands. Then he offered to help me take the desk apart. I said, no, that's okay. I'll take it apart myself. He brought out his toolbox and offered me something to drink. I declined. He offered again. I declined. I opened up the toolbox and found three Phillips head screwdrivers and started taking the desk apart. It was only six screws. As I sat there unscrewing the desk, I realized I don't have a screwdriver at home. How was I going to put the desk back together? I could always stop on the way home and buy one, I thought. I mean, I had the cash. But this guy had three of them. I'm sure if we were buddies, he would just give me one. I mean, he already kind of treats me like a buddy. But he wasn't my buddy, and I didn't want to go buy a screwdriver. I wanted to take this one. I mean, it's not like I was going to kill the guy with the screwdriver. I was just going to take it. He stopped in to check on me again and asked where I was from. I told him Massachusetts, and he told me about his great aunt he used to visit there. He was very sweet talking about how she used to rub his back and how she had passed away recently. I was a little nervous because now I knew I was going to take from him. It motivated me. He turned for a minute to let the sun warm his face through the window pane and without hesitation I grabbed the worst of the three screwdrivers. I mean, I'm not an animal. I slipped it into my pocket. Ah, <sighs> man that feels good. I wasn't clear yet, but just knowing it was on my person, in his home, felt amazing. I was an animal. I was king of the jungle. As I was finishing up, he asked what I did and I told him I was a comedian. He loved that and offered to help me carry the desk to my car. I gladly accepted. Here he was carrying my desk, and there I was carrying his screwdriver. I never felt so strong in my life. We got to my car and loaded in the desk. He said, I'd love to come to a show sometime. I looked him dead in the eyes and I said, it'd be my pleasure. He extended his hand to shake. The mere idea that he was that close, his screwdriver just inches away, was exhilarating. I got in my car smiling with my desk in the back seat. I pulled out the screwdriver to give him one last chance to see it. But he just stood there, waving. He was $30 richer and he felt great about his new friend. I felt that even though I took his screwdriver, I gave him a piece of happiness. And after all, nothing is free in life.